Hello everybody, this is Tonette. In today's episode, we're going to uncover the human body. Take a three-dimensional look inside the human body. We have not one, but two books we're going to go through. Ooh, two for the price of one. I love these overlay books. So let's start the fascinating see-through on how our bodies work. As you can see, we've got a nice little overlay, so we will be going through the different systems. <gasps> All right, here we go. We got that muscular system there. Mm, beware. Now let's get a little bit closer to look. Boy, that liver's pretty small, isn't it? Mm, the shape of, shape of the ribs. Right. Back end of you. Okay. We got the heart. Seems like it's kind of off to the left, doesn't it? The stomach is going to be coming up here in a minute. We just love how everything overviews. Well, would you look at that? The stomach off to the left, liver so small. That's, that's pretty interesting. It doesn't, doesn't look as if... Uh, Everything's quite lining up to the current model to me. No mention of a mysentery, whatever that is. Okay. There's our, or if, if you are of the uh, female persuasion, the uh, ovaries. That's kind of how I remember them, too. Mm -hmm. Right. Back over this way. Yeah, there's the model fallopian tube. That, again, a little different than the last time I, I looked online. Here we go. At uh, all the lobes. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at that brain. Back over here. Now, oh, almost forgot. Look at those lovely, lovely scapula. Back up here. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to go out of focus. So, there's that one. Take a look at the human body as you've never seen it before. All right. Now we're going to move on to this book. I really like this one, because check it out. Mm -hmm. Here we go. The skull. There's holes there. And come here to the bone structure of the nose. You know, a very slight little bone there. And they call cartilage. But if you look at this picture, even though there's the bone behind there, I'll grant you that. It's not how I recall it. I did get really good grades in school, but notice the lack of bone on that nose bridge. Isn't that pretty remarkable? Pretty remarkable indeed. 
right. And just so we don't leave anything out, we'll see the back here. And let's get growing. Okay, we're getting a little bit deeper in here. Now, I look real careful. You can see where the 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 uh, ske skull attaches to the neck. That's it's about how I would call it. Liver, oh, quite a bit smaller here. Yeah, boys at school always kind of giggled when you talk about that. <laughs> Coccyx. Uh, look at that ball socket. Oh, I bet they giggled at that too. All right. Coming back over here. Now let's get into some meat and potatoes. We've got the long and winding road. His stomach set off to the left. Oh, goodness. I thought that was in the center. Well, it is now. Coming over here. Kidneys. Oh, wow. Kidneys. Now, would you look at that? They're they're not covered by the rib cage. Oh yes, I remember. I remember when I was in school. There's this muscle that kind of attaches to the hip and the spine and the the ribs. Called it's called the QL quadrum laborum. Um. You have to be real careful when you're working that muscle, or at least you used to have to be, because you could puncture the kidney. But with the body changes now, not so much. Again, those kidneys. Look at that. Right where they were supposed to be. Yeah, kidney beans were named after kidneys. Ah, oh, go figure. Okay, now we're getting over to the heart. And the heart... Just to the little left of center, we can come over here too. A little left of center, not quite the center now. Whoop. Now, oxygen on the move. Follow the red arrows. And again, just see kind of how things are looking. And anatomy fascinates me. Hmm? You could try that if you want. Ah, oh, the noive. The noive. Okay, spinal cord, that's kind of how I recall. So, this isn't quite as polished as many of the videos on YouTube. I realize this, but I'm telling you people, anatomy is not what it used to be. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And just stay strong, stay diligent, and uh, be well.